Good morning, and this is the third edition of GTC News. I am Shai Fei. We greatly apologize for not being able to bring you news in time for the past three to four weeks. We are greatly sorry and promise not to do it again. Now the news. Kavaka's birthday. On 13th April 2016 was the Kavaka's 61st birthday celebrations at King's College Budo. Now to Bridget for more details. Thank you, Faith. I'm Navarre Bridget Edith with more details in the national news. The day started with heavy rains, which as usual is a sign of blessings. Hundreds of the devoured subjects braved the heavy rains to attend the celebrations. Our very own dear headmistress, Mrs. Kisala Ray, blessed the event with her presence representing the rest of the school. Happy birthday to the Kabaka. And more in the national news, masked goons. During the course of the week, several masked goons beat up Dr. Bessie J supporters as they returned from prayers at the FDC headquarters at Najanankumbi on Tuesday. They are claimed to have an association with the Uganda police, working on the orders of the Kampala South Deputy Regional Police Commander. The police have denied any association with the masked goons and has ordered the head of investigations department to investigate the case. We hope the situation returns to normal on the shortest period of time. Over to Mushai. Sports news. The family of the fallen former Uganda Cranes keeper, Abel Daira, has thanked the government and all Ugandans for standing by them in the difficult time. Abel, who died on March 27th in Iceland after losing the battle to cancer, he was buried in his family home in Mayuga district on April 6th. Without the support of the president, probably the body would still be in Iceland. We'd like to heartily thank him for the support, said Chota. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Now in school news. Young Ugandan ambassadors. From 11th March to 2nd April, students Bless Chisache and Mulomi Christine, accompanied by Mrs. Luwega, Tracy, set off to Washington, D.C. to be empowered on international project development skills to be used to positively impact our community. A week later, they headed to Chicago, Illinois to meet other humanitarian organizations like World Chicago, and finally they headed to Portland, where they spent the last week of their stay. The trip was empowering and fascinating. We are all encouraged to reach out and step out of our comfort zones. Box Office Bliss. We greatly apologize in the delay of the reporting of this story, but oh well, here it is. The spectacular event that was on the 19th March 2016, when the elegantly dressed Gaza ladies interact with the Budonian gentlemen at the annual high school social. The theme this year being box office bliss, the Form 6 class was graced with a staring community in both Gaza and Budo, and to the least, all parties were impressed. On arrival, the Gaza ladies were served with refreshments and given a chance to feel comfortable before the nerve-wracking moment of choosing dates came into play. Different committees chose dates in turn and the walk down the red carpet was taken. The day was filled with plenty of entertainment and interaction, great music as well as divine food. And of course, the heart of any party, there was mouth-watering cake to boot. The day closed with a dance and the ladies departed at 6.30 p.m. We thank the organizing committee and the administration for a beautiful day. Gapa. On the 2nd of April, the gates of Gaza High School flooded with multitude of parents eager and anticipating to catch a glimpse of their daughters participating in the acclaimed of Gapa. The girls were diligent and worked hard while practicing right from the Easter holiday until the last day. Kobe House this year was rewarded by having her name written on the shield. Congratulations, Kobians, Coxites, and Hatchites. The best man did win. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Until next time.